Miss Robin to Cradle. Hi, Sylvia. How are I'm, you? I'm good, baby. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Uh, I need to ask you as a traveling queen, because you, a lot of the queens work, as we all do, or as much as we can, mm -hmm. outside of Toronto, let's say. You were in Ottawa for a long time. I was. I was there from 2005 till the end of 2009, and it was a wonderful time. Um, I actually went there by accident. <laughs> I went up there with a friend, and I thought I'd check out the gay clubs. I brought some drag, so I thought I'd do uh, a show, and then the owner asked me, what I was doing on the next weekend, I said nothing. She said, do you want to stay? I said, I guess I might as well. And so one weekend turned into two weekends, turned into three weekends, and then... Four years. Four years, yeah. What's the scene like there then, anyways? Because I know it's changed now. Well, back then it was amazing. Like, um, it, th this was before Icon. I, I missed Icon, so, um, but there was Edge. Um, there's Lookout, there's still Lookout, and I think CP's closing soon, but everything's changed now. But it was booming 10 years ago, for sure. Uh, because of, just wait, it just hit me now when you said changing there. Do you think it's changed here in Toronto? I think there's a lot of, a lot has changed because of the social media. People can meet online and you don't have to go to bars as much anymore, so. What yeah. about the shows? Oh, the shows. Um, I think there's a lot more queens, for sure, because it's more accepted in the media. You have RuPaul's Drag Race, and you, you know you have YouTube. To, to everyone can just learn how to do their makeup and hair and everything. Like, there's so much more access to internet and knowledge that compared to before. The internet's changed everything in the world. Yeah, it really has. Mm -hmm. You never would have thought drag would have been affected, but it so has. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I thought it was like always like an underground, like something that. It still is in a lot of ways, but now it's just exploded so much and it's so accepted. Throughout it's the almost kind of a careful what you wish for thing. Because you remember a long time ago we would say, how long have we known each other? Oh, how long? Like years. Long. Oh, God. I know. At least Sorry. <laughs> Um A long time ago we would say, oh, I wish we would be more, you know, accepted, you know, in the gay straight community and, you know, be able to travel more and we, we wanted we wanted and now that's afforded to us yeah and now it's kind of like oh it's sort of everywhere and it's sort of not <laughs> not I don't know special is right word but it's not unique anymore and it, is that a good thing or a bad thing I think it's a great thing because now people not as many people have to live in fear and people can express themselves and there's so many new avenues like and people do a lot better communication and how to do makeup and like you, you know like if we don't know how to if we don't have friends or some someone we want to ask how to do makeup, then we can just go online and look on YouTube channels. And there's people who are amazing. Yeah. Like like um, uh, Michelle DeBerry. Oh yeah, she's absolutely amazing. <laughs> I wanted her here. I'm gonna tell you a story. I mm -hmm. wanted her here for the first set of interviews that we were doing. Yeah. Uh, but I asked her when she was drinking. <laughs> and this is a true story. And Michelle, if you can access YouTube at your advanced age <laughs> um, she had said she didn't really kind of catch what I she was drinking though but I said come on Michelle you're like you're in the Guinness Book of Records I'm gonna get her here oh yeah she's you're in the Guinness Book of Records you know you've got stories you've got history you you're, you're cool you're you're cool people <laughs> well we'll talk girl. <laughs> oh, bless her heart yeah well how long has she been doing drag like 70 years oh, or something she was, I think, a, a waitress at the first supper, the last supper, whatever it's called. Yeah, but still, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, we found it, drag queens found it difficult, like, in our time, whenever, well. Yeah, no, it's 20 true. years, but she's been doing it for three, four times longer than we have, so. Yeah. You've uh, got a whole life outside of drag. I do. You are a nurse as of... Mm. What, a, a month ago? No, how long ago now? No, I actually finished the RPM program in 2013. Right. And then I had to do a year bridge, and now I'm in my final year at Trent University at George Brown campus. To be a nurse. To be an RN, finally. How exciting. I know, I... You I, don't look smart. I want you to know that. I'm not, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, really. Oh, my God. That's my daytime... Uh, <laughs> You're dumb at night. Yeah, when I'm drinking, you know. <laughs> yeah. Where did uh, Robin to Cradle come from? The name? Or yeah, just, the name. 
well, I wanted to come up some, with something witty or like just, you know, I, I, I wanted to be like funny or fun. Like I didn't want to be so serious. So I just wanted to some, but Robin DeCreo, like I just actually wrote a list of names that I wanted. Gloria Hole was one of them. But I don't know, it didn't seem so, t- it's oh. kind of tense. <laughs> I didn't want to like, you know. <laughs> Please welcome the stage, <laughs> Gloria Hole. Exactly. So, and I, I was also 22 when I started drag. So I, I don't know, I just felt like Robin de Cradle meant I liked people my age. And now that I'm older, it makes sense, more sense, but it's not as true. <laughs> <laughs> So when you're Michelle DeBerry's age, when you're an older queen, <laughs> yeah. you're going to say no, you're really Robin trailing, trolling the schoolyards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a whole bunch of uh, rapid fire questions that I'm going to be doing with everybody. Uh-oh. And I want you to, to partake. Are you up for it? I'll try. <laughs> be the nurse right now. Try to be smart. Oh, God. This is quick. It's too late. This is quick. <laughs> quick. You got to think quick. Okay. Uh, your favorite celebrity crush? I don't know, it's always kind of been Leonardo. Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, I don't know. I think he's, even though he's changed from young to old, he's always been talented and... Hot. Yeah, oh, his talent is there, but, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I'll be interviewing him soon. I'll change my oh, mind. <laughs> Your favorite artist? My favorite artist? <sighs> Singer, you mean? Singer, uh, actor? Actually, my childhood favorite singer has always been Michael Jackson. So. Even when I listen to it on the radio, it always makes me happy. Michael Jackson. Sorry. No, I, <laughs> oh. I adore, adore Michael Jackson. Yeah. A favorite curse word? Bitch. Seriously, favorite curse word? Bitch. I thought you were just addressing me. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a superpower, what would it be? What would it be? Oh, gosh, that's a hard one. So many. <laughs> superpower. What is superpower? Maybe to. You can't say world peace. That's not super. That's not superpower. <laughs> <laughs> My superpower is world peace. But somehow make equality for everybody, equity for everybody. Somehow. Okay. I, would say I can't five, really. believe. I don't want you to be my nurse. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what would be on your tombstone? If you could write something, what would it be on your tombstone? What would be on my tombstone? Hopefully, live life, lived life to the fullest. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Sylvia. It was very nice to meet you. Will you come back again? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> there'll be more. There'll be more champagne. And then absolutely. Uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>